Sometimes the amniotic sac is seen at the same time with the yolk sac. This picture of amniotic sac, yolk sac, and the fetal pole in between is known as double blip sign. Before 10 weeks, fetal pole, amniotic sac, and the chorionic sac will grow in a similar rate, while the yolk sac is decreasing in size. But after 10 week gestation, fetal urine production will result in a faster growth of amniotic sac. Consequently, it will occupy an increasing area inside the gestational sac, and two cavities will be visualized inside the gestational sac. I mean amniotic cavity and the chorionic cavity. The chorionic space may contain internal echoes, and in such a case, it may be misdiagnosed as subchorionic hematoma. Subchorionic hematoma is a blood collection between the chorion and the sedum. The difference between chorionic cavity and subchorionic hematoma is that chorionic cavity is present inside gestational sac adjacent to a thin amniotic membrane, while subchorionic hematoma is present outside gestational sac adjacent to thick chorionic membrane. And finally, the amniotic cavity and the chorionic cavity will fuse together at about 14 week gestation, forming a single cavity. Some poor prognostic features are related to amniotic cavity. Double blip sign is infrequently visualized, but when seen, it is associated with increased risk of pregnancy loss. Empty amnio. Visualization of amniotic cavity without embryo is a feature of concern. And sometimes it may be difficult to differentiate between large yolk sac and the empty amnio. But this actually does not make a difference because both features are poor prognostic features and requires more frequent follow-up. Expanded amnio. The amniotic sac diameter and the crown rump length are usually within 1 to 2 mm of each other, and a larger amniotic cavity compared to the crown rump length is a feature of concern. Poor prognostic features related to chorion and decidua include subchorionic hematoma. The significance of subchorionic hematoma depends on the size of hematoma. A large hematoma, involving more than half of the circumference of the gestational sac, is associated with increased risk of pregnancy loss. The second feature is chorionic bump. Chorionic bump is an irregular convex bulge from the chorio-decidual surface into the gestational sac. It is thought to represent a hematoma at the chorio-decidual surface that bulge into the gestational sac, and its significance is controversial. 